All right, guys, so we have since finished glassing the uh, bottom of the hulls. Um, in hindsight, if anybody's doing this themselves, I uh, recommend taping some plastic down anywhere that the resin might drip. We had a lot of uh, dripping, and I don't know how well it shows up on camera. Like, you can see all the drips down. Um, so now I have to sand it all off to make it smooth again because we still have to glass these two joints and these two joints so save yourself a lot of hassle and uh definitely put a piece of plastic down you know tape it up and then you only have a little bit of sanding to do it to, to get it back to the way you need it so hindsight's a wonderful thing we did the two layers of glass in the bottom of the holes here it came out pretty good uh there are a few spots where we had air pockets um and i don't know how well you can see them i marked them all with blue tape here so this is maybe what do you say a dozen yeah. give or take uh, give it give or take uh, some of them are worse than others um some spots are actually below where we needed to go with the glass uh so we're going to address these spots i was watching a video from spare boats and uh he actually used a syringe and he drilled a small hole in it and filled behind the bubble with resin um in my mind that's no different than using the silica filler mix the uh, thickened epoxy mix um so we're going to give it a go see how it works if it doesn't work we'll sand out the bad spots and put another layer of glass where those are um hopefully this is just a nice quick easy fix and you know not a big deal and we can move on from there so first thing we'll do is uh, obviously i marked all the spots i'm going to drill small holes enough to fit the needle in and we're using an industrial needle here uh bought from amazon it's got a, a big tip i don't know if you can see the hole but nice big tip on there so we can suck up the resin and kind of inject it into the holes um anything else okay hope you enjoy don't forget to like share and subscribe this is the top layer of glass we had an issue with i think that's really all you need just enough to get the needle in we're doing the fast hardener today just to see how it goes can you see it wetting out oh, there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm on a little drip here and there. Cool. You can totally see it. Ah, yeah. I like this solution. All right, so Cassie is mixing some Total Boat 2 to 1 resin. Uh, we went with the slow hardener because the fast hardener kicked way too quick. All right, do the ones on the side. I know those should take it. Oh, bend that needle like that. How's it going? This one's good. Okay. And just squeeze this all the way full if you can, and then and so if you can't get it all, I can drill another hole and go from a different angle, different spot. Don't bend the needle, he says. Yeah, I'll try not to. See, I know. anything he does is right. Anything I, I do right. is wrong. <laughs> Trust me, it ain't right. What happened? I killed it. What did you kill? I sand the... The walt. It's got a lot of use though. <laughs> this thing sanded on the bottom of our boat twice and it sanded this hull at least twice now overall. And we've had it for yeah. how many years doing wood projects? Yeah, three or four. This time. R.I.P. Yeah, it still runs but... Pressure. <laughs> So yeah, I cut these to length, I rolled them up, put them back in here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to actually put them in the vacuum chamber with resin to see if we can saturate these with that method. Uh, this is totally an experiment and if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to <laughs> switch gears real fast and start uh, glassing. Um, 
hopefully it does work and I can just literally just unroll it on the seam, roll out the bubbles and we're done. If it does, that's gonna save us a huge amount of time doing this. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, plan. We got the vacuum pump, uh, bucket. Inside the bucket, I have a flower pot because the bucket does cave in a little bit and I'll uh, wrap that in bags just to not make a mess. We are filling the last gaps on the hull. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that feels great. <laughs> really, we already filled these. We're just smoothing everything out now. Because there's some imperfections and low spots. There it is. That was nice. Don't touch it. <laughs> They're all dry. So Cassie right now is mixing up the resin to try to saturate the, I know that bro that light's bright, <laughs> to saturate the fiberglass in the cup and we're gonna try to vacuum chamber it. Um, hopefully this works huh? and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring you guys along for the ride. <laughs> it's gonna be a ride. Oh, it's gonna be an adventure. I'll tell you, everything we do is an adventure. <laughs> All right, guys, so what I have here is I have, I loosely rolled this fiberglass the best I could, as loose as I could in the cup. Um, what I'll do is we'll have Cassie pour it all over the top, on the inside and outside, and then we will put it in a vacuum chamber. Uh, unfortunately, the white really sucks out here, so you guys do have to deal with a flashlight. <laughs> I really hope this works. I don't know, I have my doubts. Eh, sometimes we get lucky, though. Fingers crossed. In the bucket. That is not going to cooperate right now. I told you that was gonna happen though. That was just a good bucket here, man. You can take it out, flip it over. Yeah. Shut it off. Oh yeah. And I'm just gonna do one of these numbers. Right over, right back in. Yeah. Not quite. So We'll see if it's worth it though, time-wise. Moment of truth. There you go. Oh, oh, it looks pretty saturated. I don't know. I don't have much faith in there, in the center of like the roll. Yeah, we'll find out in a minute. Yep. Saturated. That is anyway. Ooh, so far so good. Oh, I see some white spots. That's all right. Coming. I, I can touch those up though. Towards the center. Yeah, there's a few. That's all right. I'll touch some up. If it's like that, though, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna find out if you think it's worth it or not. Oh. I think if it would have soaked longer, I think we'd have been alright. Even still, it's... Just watch your knees and where you're yeah, stepping. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> it's easy from down there. I know. Uh, yeah, I saw the center's not wet. No. Oh. Damn. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but it's uh, probably the... What? 16 feet or so. Yeah. Watch your knee on the right. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So from about here, and it goes about, I don't know, 15 feet or so, to about here, it didn't wet out. So we'll have to hit it with a brush. We still have enough time to work it, so we should be okay.
I know, but does not. that's going to do it for this week's episode. Stay tuned next week for another step forward. Go, go! get that done what I've done is actually unrolled and we rolled out the lengths that we need and I put that into these nifty mixing cups um, why are you speaking so low well, we're gonna I don't know. <laughs> you are oh. it's okay go ahead all right <laughs> continue now, now you know I lost my train of thought there